and welcome back to the studio. It's so quiet in here. That's not a, let's, yeah, we need to get the energy level up. We need the phones to ring and get our volunteers busy. So give us a call if you haven't called yet today, 800-888-8897. We are, uh, it's been a great day. A lot of generous people have donated today to the Armenia Fund Telethon. We, we, we want the donations to continue by phone or online. So give us a call if you haven't done so today. Now, a little bit uh, earlier, I ta uh, received help to uh, graciously accept a generous gift from the Glendale uh, Adventist Medical Center. They presented a $5,000 check, uh, as they do every year, and that is fantastic. But um, we had a little tease about a medical mission that took place in October, and now we're going to learn more about that. Uh, these are some of the fine people who went on this incredible mission. I understand that there were more than 30, but we do have a select group. A select group came here today. You're all in your, your great outfits, and I'd like to meet all of you. So if you could just tell me your name and, and your specialty. Sure. Uh, Arun Abulian, uh, pulmonary critical care. Thank you. Armand Kotikian, oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Karuni Kachaturan, house supervisor. Romik Eskandarian, pharmacy director. Thank you. Romella Markarian, vice president, Glendale Adventist Medical Center. And behind you? George Mutafian, general and weight loss surgery. Thank you. Moving on. Minas Melodonian, internal medicine hospitalist. Zovinar Tekelian, internal medicine. I'm Dr. Armin Cherik, neurologist. Simon Kishkarian, general surgeon, vascular surgeon. Excuse me, right in front, over here. So R.B. Nabetian, I'm a cardiologist. Yes, and we met a little bit earlier. So tell, tell me more about this mission. It happened in October. How long were you there? And as, as we're finding out from the, the people that we met today, a variety of specialties were represented there. We uh, were in Armenia back in October for about uh, 10 days and did uh, a little bit of outreach uh, by taking about 35 medical professionals up to the village of Noyamberian, which is in the extreme northeast of Armenia, on the border with both Georgia and Azerbaijan. We Are the folks there, do they have access to regular medical care? So thanks to the Armenia Fund, the hospital that was in that region was recently renovated, but was still lacking in certain aspects of expertise and certain resources. Uh, and we had asked Armenia Fund to identify a hospital in a rural region on the borders that was in need of help. And what type of procedures were performed? So uh, the surgeons in our group did a fair number of uh, cleft palate surgeries, uh, closing the, uh, the upper lip and the uh, top of the mouth for uh, children. We did a fair number of hernia surgeries uh, and some um, resections of uh, um, what could have been potentially benign or dangerous uh, lesions. So had this mission not taken place, what would, what would typically happen to people living in, an, in a region like that? You know, part of our uh, hope was to be able to elevate the level of services that that hospital provided. Uh, getting doctors to go to that uh, remote region is, is a challenge. Uh, and to give you a, a frame of reference, we here in this country spend 16% of our GDP on health care. Armenia spends 1.6. So 16 times more in terms of expenditure. So the resources aren't necessarily available for them to offer the services that we were able to augment and provide. We took with us two anesthesia machines. We actually added an entire operating room to that hospital, doubling their capacity and provided them with a uh, fair number of drugs, um, antihypertensive, cardiac drugs, uh, for diseases that are endemic in that area. So you obviously left a tremendous impact and provided incredible service and care to the people there. What did you take back? I bet you came back with something yourself. Uh, we, when, whenever we did the operation, the surgeries in uh, Noemberian, Urvor koni yerevanin yereken çorjam yerevartyan vray ev jovur tor gabrihon anon ken vor sahmar ge başpane anon ken vor yergir ge bahen ve ev hol ge bahen hedeva par korzotnere vor gaderitsink nöperyan hivantanos davchi şerçana ye vor amenich haçotyan perçatsav yev yep knaink andanik hi antam neru urakhutyun yev nuna bes menke vor when we give we also get back so that was the best thing that could have happened to us. 
Was this something that you think maybe in the future this can potentially happen again? We have committed to doing so. Okay. Um, we are going to go back to that very same hospital, to that very same village, to the very same people. Uh, we uh, committed to them that we would keep coming back. Uh, they've actually asked us when, uh, and we're trying to make the internal decision of whether we go back uh, once a year or twice a year. We've also committed to sending some of our residents. Uh, we have a family practice residency program at, at Glendale Adventist, and our residents are actually quite excited about uh, flying and doing uh, rotations there with the uh, excellent doctors that are actually at that hospital. So um, more to come. That's fantastic, and we'll be anxious to hear about more of the services that you provide. What an incredible group. Thank you for your generous donation uh, earlier in the day, and uh, thank you for your work to help the people of Armenia. I know it is greatly appreciated there. Sure. There's so many people we would like to thank. Our CEO, Kevin Roberts, who spearheaded this project, his beautiful wife, who joined us at this mission trip, Elena. We're missing some of our um, uh, missionaries here. So thank you, everyone, for supporting us. Armenia Fund, Greg Boyrazian, Sarkis Kotanjian, Mr. Andranik Bagdasarian. I mean, it would have been possible without their support. We're just so blessed with this partnership. Looking forward to many more years. All right. Thank you so much for being here. What a, a wonderful story and what an incredible donation. Paul?